When the U.S. Navy sailed a warship to the Taiwan Strait on Wednesday, it again angered China. Beijing calls the transit, which the U.S. Navy routinely performs, a threat to national security. But weeks ago, reports had it China's only aircraft carrier, Liaoning, sailed through Cebutu Island in the southernmost province of Tawi-Tawi without informing the Philippine government. The area is within the country's territorial waters. For other states, they require in, uh, notification or even approval. But when they do it, they don't no, uh, notify or secure approval from the coastal state. So it's a double standard. Chinese envoy Zhao Zhanhua denied the report when Defense Chief Delphine Lorenzana confronted him about it ahead of the State of the Nation address. But Zhao did confirm four smaller Chinese warships have been passing through Cebutu Island since February. He said that uh, in the future, he will require those ships to inform the embassy, the Chinese embassy here in Manila, about intended passage in Cebutu and they will inform us. Speaking in an event on Thursday, Lorenzana says the Philippine Coast Guard has to step up from its poor state. He cites the Recto Bank boat, a lesson in June, where the Navy ship had to be deployed to rescue the fishermen since there were no available Coast Guard vessels. If we had more assets, then the reaction could have been uh, faster. But just like the armed forces, the Coast Guard has also been upgrading its capabilities. It is getting new rubber and rigid hull inflatable boats even pick up trucks and ambulances. Its first ever flagship vessel purchased from France will be delivered by year end. The Coast Guard ship will be sent to patrol the West Philippine Sea. But just that, patrol our maritime borders. The defense ship says it will be no match to the bigger Chinese Coast Guard ships. Have a new drive away Coast Guard of the Navy, uh, Pagpili Navy, that is 124 meters. Yeah. Baka umangan ka lang ng uh, water cannon, eh, hindi ka na makalapit. Eh. So, until such time, we are able to do it. In, uh, wala tayong magagawa. Because of its civilian nature, the Coast Guard is attached to the Transportation Department and not with the Defense Department. But Transportation Secretary Artugadi says collaboration is key, especially since national security is at stake. David Santos, CNN Philippines.